There's no doubt that this is the <clears throat> best groat that I've had. I always feel like this is an unfortunate brand name. This groat is too close to scrote for me. <laughs> anyway, this nicely, probably fake flamed, semi hollow, double cut from Groat is certainly a lot better than the first offering and I've had people uh, say to me please give them another chance so I have so here's another entry from them um, and it is nice a couple of things that I notice about it the neck is kind of chunky um, which is not necessarily a bad thing I find that I can adapt to different neck widths pretty easily uh, however, this is probably not my favorite um, of all the possibilities. It's uh, slightly on the chunky side. But it's a, a really nice um, instrument. Not high-end, of course. Uh, this is the double humbucker, twin F-holes, bound, fully bound, a trapeze tailpiece, very normative. Uh, tuners on this um, rosewood board with the block inlays uh, a nice guitar uh, and much better than the first Groat experience that I had that purple solid uh, I think it was a thin line um, copy um, that I took to task on that particular video I, I didn't think it was um, quite as good as people were making out I can see in getting this one uh, why people find these to be a good deal. However, I just happened to at the same time uh, have a couple of IYVs in, including this guy. And um, one of these. And I will say that I stick to my original opinion that I think they are better than the goats. Um, I like the necks better on those other two. I like the pickups slightly better as well. Not that these are bad. I just feel like the, um, in my opinion, the Indian Vena guitars are slightly better made, slightly better parts. The neck profile is a, is a bit um, slicker as well, not quite as, uh, as substantial as this one. But having said that, these are really nice. I can see why somebody would grab something like this, uh, change, swap the pickups out, maybe swap some of the other hardware and make you know a really good mud project out of them. Um, what I had to do to this, quite a bit of, um, well actually not too much, just a little bit of uh, beveling. The, the neck is bound, uh, so it wasn't too protruding. There are just a few burrs that I had to knock off uh, with a three angled file. Um, the action was pretty good out of the box. I didn't have to tweak it. It was a lot better experience than that first one with the purple thin line tele copy that I had a few months back. Um, this was a lot better experience um, and a lot better made guitar. It is quite a handsome thing. Um, now the reason why I'm pretty sure this is probably a photo flame is because there's no book matching at all. The flame goes all the way across. It's possible that that's a very thin veneer, but I have reasons to believe that it's probably not a veneer. It's probably a photo finish. Uh, maybe some of you know for sure and you can let me know. It just looks to my eyes like it is not wood, but um, an affectation. Uh, the back is quite a lot brighter, so as you can see the the, the um, comparison of the rather dark top and the back. Uh, if you like that look, it offsets the top a little bit. Some people might find it annoying that it doesn't match. Um, pretty cheap pit guards, not terrible. Uh, but not super high-end. I've seen a lot of people getting these and switching out the pick guards. Some people get rid of the tailpiece. It is kind of buzzy and noisy. You can't hear it now because I got the amp on, but playing it acoustically, um, there's a lot of ringy, buzzy 
sounds so I think a lot of people just ditch this tailpiece uh, and get a, a different one on there probably because the strings are too close to the nozzles on the end here that there might be a slight bit of um, uh, um, noise reverberation ringing coming from that um, otherwise it's it's decent I can see people switching these out and um, they're not super powerful when I when I play them with uh, side by side with Destiny pickups from the IYV guitars they have more punch than these do um, I've noticed a lot of Groat videos that's the first thing to go people um, switching out the pickups but um, I think Groat from the examples I've had so far does better with these semi hollows than they do um, more on their solid all solid guitars although I'll try more and see um, this is just the one I happen to get in and I'm not sure if this one's still available um, I see the ones that are available are not so flamey so I'm not sure if this is um, still you know being distributed or if this is an older model but it's certainly really nice attractive very you know it's a it's a chunky beast it's a big it's a big semi hollow it's the size of a full jazz box it just is a thinner profile so anyway this is the groat see you on the next one